It's 10.47 a.m. The cats had breakfast maybe a half hour ago. They had playtime before breakfast. And now they're just relaxing. None of them liked the breakfast that I gave them because I forgot to defrost the raw food again. So I opened up a can of food. And it's the kind that's like, um, like shreds, I think. And it comes with gravy and they licked up all the gravy and they left all the shreds. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Hello, Stella. So this is their new favorite toy. So this is the pom-pom garland with uh, the boa uh, looped through the end of it. So the uh, garland has this loop and I just put the boa through it. And what I do is I drag this around the house like a giant snake. And the cats go crazy over it, right, Stella? She says she loves it. And she runs around the house like a kitten. Like, so fast, galloping around the house. And uh, Simba does the same, and Splash, and Boo. And they all take their turns running after the giant moving snake. Stella, you love the snake? It is 8.15 a.m. And there's Hydrox scratching. It's 8.15 a.m. And there's Hydrox at the back door. That's what I just heard from the other side of the house. And there's Ditto. I haven't seen Ditto in quite a while. Ditto looks like you put on some weight, which is good. And uh, they're tearing up the road again today, again. For the next three days, they're tearing up the road. So there's all kinds of noise and machines outside. And I was woken up today by a cop banging on my front door. First they rang the doorbell. And they rang it again. And then I was like, what is going on? And they were banging on the door. And I looked and it was a cop. So I was like, oh, I, better, I better answer it. But I was totally asleep. And um, he told me about uh, the road work. And now I got to feed these cats because it rained all day yesterday. Like poured all day yesterday. So they're really hungry. And the phone's ringing. So I'm going to go get the phone. It's 8.30. I'm just about to feed Hydrox and Ditto. Do you hear how loud this is? That's coming from the street. Splash is hiding under the bed. I think Simba's hiding with him. And Stella and Boo are just walking around very concerned like what is going on. So I'm gonna give the outside cats food and then I'll feed the inside cats. I give them each a can of food. They're splitting a 5.5 ounce can of the Four Health cat food. I gave Ditto his plate down on the patio. He didn't want to eat down there. So I put it up here because he kept looking at like what Hydrox was doing up here. Yeah, they don't like all this loud noise and all the machinery and everything. At one point, a little while ago, I mean, the entire house was like vibrating. They were, I don't know what they were doing, but like if I could feel it in the house, the cats definitely felt it outside too. Shook up all the cats. And I think the reason why Ditto showed up this morning is because wherever he has been sheltering um, has also been disturbed. So I have a feeling that Ditto's been sheltering in a neighboring yard. I don't think he's been in a neighbor's house just because of how dirty he is all the time if you look at his paws and everything. But I do know one of the houses around here, like the cats like to sneak under the front porch. Um, there's like this opening they can sneak into. And uh, so I have seen cats sheltering themselves there. Then I do have another neighbor with an open shed. Um, they have like a dilapidated garage and like an open shed. and. That's where there is a large quantity of mice. So I know that's where the, uh, the cats and the other animals like to go. That's like hunting grounds. So Ditto could be sheltering around there too. And Hydrox has been hanging out around the patio at night, but I don't know where he goes all the time yet either. I mean, they both like to go to the woods. Oh, 
All right, so Hydrox is having a good breakfast. Good morning, Simba. You came out? You came out from hiding? Simba says, yeah, he's ready for breakfast. And there's Stella. Stella says she's ready for breakfast also. Okay, guys, you got to wait. I got to finish getting ready for my day. Then you guys can have breakfast. I just gave Splash breakfast under the bed. Boo is too nervous to eat downstairs, so he is going to eat up here on the play rug. Good morning, Splash. It's about 7.15 a.m. And this is where Splash has been all morning. On top of the sofa. Near the window. Doesn't he look comfortable? And here's Stella. She wants me to put the toy on for her. The cats had a special treat last night. So they had some, I think it's the Pure Bites uh, salmon. Not the freeze dried, the one that comes like in liquid. And these little uh, dishes worked really well for that. There was nothing that spilled out and it was great. Um, so that's why the dishes are still on the ground because then after they had their little special treat, they had a little bit of crunchies in them. So I think I'm going to turn this toy on for Stella. Stella would rather rub up against my legs because they just came out of the shower. Okay, Stella, you play with the toy and then I'm gonna go get ready for my day, okay? You play with the toy and I'll get ready for my day. It's 8.45 a.m. and Stella's been sitting here on the bed with her boa as I've been getting ready for my day. And Boo has been watching squirrel videos on the TV, right, Boo? You're watching the black squirrels. Boo says he never saw a black squirrel before. He's very interested in them. It is 8.06 p.m. I'm not sure if I filmed anything today. Here is Hydrox eating dinner. He's been hanging out by the back door. And I just gave him some homemade raw food, which he's eating. And the other plate near him is actually Splash's breakfast. So he did not eat his breakfast, which is also raw food. It was the primal raw. And I put it aside for him. And he didn't eat it all day. Uh, so I just give it to Hydrox. If Hydrox wants to eat it, he can. And if he doesn't want to eat it, I'm sure one of the other animals outside will be happy with it, whether it's a raccoon or possum or whatever. So. Hydrox is set with his food. And here's Stella and Splash, and they're waiting to eat their dinner. Here's Simba on the stairs. It is 8.17 p.m. Look at this. Hydrox ate all of the food. There's three empty plates. There's an empty plate from his breakfast. Uh, There's one on the stairs. The other two are from his dinner. So he ate all of his dinner. And he wants more food. It is 9 p.m. and Hydrox is having his third dinner. So he had raw food, then he had a can of food, now he's having another can of food. I don't know why, but he's starving. We're not supposed to get any storms. Usually the cats eat like crazy before a storm, but I don't think we're supposed to be getting any storms tomorrow. I could be wrong. Um, but it's a good thing he's eating because when cats are sick, they usually don't want to eat. So. I mean, it just goes to show you he's pretty healthy. It's 7.30 a.m. and Hydrox was right. It's raining. It's been raining all morning. It's supposed to rain all day. See, you can predict the weather by a feral cat's appetite. He ate so much dinner last night because he knew we were getting bad weather today. Good morning, Simba. You still sleeping? Simba's sleeping in the cat tower. Simba, you're so fluffy, I have to pet you, okay? I have to pet you because you're so fluffy. 
Good morning. Good morning, Stella. Are you looking out the window? Stella slept on the bed all night. She just got up a little while ago. Stella, I have to pet you because you're so fluffy. And look who this is. Splash slept on top of the couch cushion by the window. I guess this is one of his new favorite spots. He looks very comfy. And I'm not going to disturb him because if I try to pet him, he'll run off the couch. And I'll just let him be cozy a while longer. And here's Boo. Good morning, Boo. Boo slept on the bed with Stella. Boo and Stella slept next to each other all night. Right, Boo? Boo says right. Right, Boo. Stella's wearing her boa. Doesn't she look pretty? She's relaxing on the bed in her boa. Stella, you're so pretty. Hello, Splash. How are you, Splash? Are you comfortable on the bed? Splash says he's very comfortable on the bed. He's waiting for Stella to join him. Watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.